Beloved child of God, may his peace and blessings rest upon you. I come to you today with an important message from our Lord. In these uncertain times, he cautions us to be wise and discerning, not tossed about by every fleeting idea or notion that crosses our path. We live in an age of great turmoil, yet also great opportunity. Though darkness threatens from many quarters, the light of God still shines bright, and his children walk in spirit-led authority upon the earth. We are a firewall against evil, conduits of his miraculous power, but the spiritual forces of wickedness would seek to distract and deceive us. God urges vigilance that we may stay true to his calling. Recently in prayer, the Spirit impressed upon my heart the need to warn fellow believers to move carefully through this season, relying fully on the wisdom and timing of the Lord. His voice thundered within me, Warn my children to walk circumspectly and not be tossed to and fro by every notion that comes their way. I know many of you face troubling circumstances. Hardships abound on every side. Yet even in the darkest night, God remains sovereign, worthy of our trust. We must see from heaven's perspective, not earthly fear and limitation. The Lord works all things for good, according to his flawless design. The Lord led me to Ephesians 5 verses 15 to 16, where Paul urges believers to walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. As the return of Jesus draws nearer, spiritual activity in the heavenlies increases. The veil between natural and supernatural worlds grows thinner. We must stay rooted in God's word and spirit-led wisdom, not earthly thinking. Our perspective and authority flow from heaven downward, not vice versa. The Lord powerfully reminded me of this truth. He brought me in the spirit before his dazzling throne and explained that God shapes outcomes in the natural realm through the faith-filled decrees of his people operating in heavenly perspective. As we gaze upon situations through his eyes, speaking and acting in alignment with his word, miracles unfold. We rearrange circumstances spiritually through prophetic intercession, waging effective warfare against darkness. The Lord warned that relying too heavily on earthly data leads to sin consciousness, attempting to twist God's arm to follow our own limited understanding. As supernatural activity increases in the coming days, intimacy with God's heart will be crucial. We must see from heaven's vantage point, filtering every experience through the lens of Scripture under the Spirit's guidance. God is raising up prophetic voices to ground His people in wisdom, protecting them from deception. The occult and New Age movements will also grow active, but believers must stay focused on kingdom purposes. The Lord assured me we were created for the supernatural, Operating in the power of the Spirit is our true identity and heritage in Him. So I urge you, dear one, be selective about what you accept as prophetic guidance. Test every message against the whole counsel of Scripture. Does it lead you closer to the heart of Jesus? Does it empower your kingdom, purpose and authority in Him? Or does it stir fear, confusion and anxiety? You have the mind of Christ and his discernment to navigate these times of spiritual intensification. Keep your eyes fixed on heavenly truth. I know many of you face heavy concerns, ill health, financial lack, strained relationships. But remember, friend, this world is not our home. We are citizens of an unshakable kingdom seated with Christ in heavenly places. His perfect love is reshaping all things for our good. Renew your mind daily in the power of His living Word. Allow the Holy Spirit to retune your spiritual senses to heaven's frequency, that you may thrive as kingdom ambassadors on the earth. The Lord said we were entering a season of thinning veils and increased spiritual activity on all sides, but God's children have nothing to fear. We were made for such a time as this. The supernatural is part of our spiritual DNA in Him. This is a pivotal hour to demonstrate the dominion, love, and miraculous power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Through intimacy with Him, we walk in unshakable authority over darkness, 
and release heaven's healing kingdom wherever we go. What an honor to be his representatives in this exciting day. Guard your hearts from anxiety and fear. Fix your eyes on things above, not earthly chaos. Jesus lives in you. He leads you forth as more than conquerors, instruments of his supernatural peace and hope. The rivers of living water that flow from within you will transform desperate lives in the days ahead. You are stepping into your true identity and authority as God's beloved, spirit-filled warrior. His kingdom will shine through you to pierce the gloom and declare his glory. You were made for such a time as this. Abide in the vine of Jesus and allow his life to flow through you. Stay centered in the word, moving according to the spirit's leading. God's timing and purposes will unfold in ways beyond human thought. He works all things for good. Walk circumspectly in kingdom wisdom, not earthly limitation. Test every prophetic word against scripture. From heaven's perspective, call forth miracles. Shift spiritual climates, set captives free. Aligned with Christ, you are unstoppable. Wield your prayers and declarations wisely. Angels heed your voice. Mountains bow at the mention of his name. You are a catalyst of revival. Redeem each moment. The harvest is ready. Beloved child of God, you were born for such a time as this, a chosen vessel through whom he will pour out his spirit. Jesus lives and reigns within you. He will uphold you with his righteous right hand. Fix your gaze upon him. He will lead you forth in kingdom authority to release impossible miracles in his name. You are more than a conqueror through Christ. Walk boldly in your true identity as a spirit-filled warrior. The hosts of heaven fight for you. No weapon formed against you can prosper. Shine bright with his hope, truth, and love. The Lord goes before you. For years, God has been training and teaching me discernment. Last year, he spoke directly to me about the existence of a false voice of prophecy. This false voice stems from demonic spirits whose aim is to deceive. These counterfeit voices intentionally promote confusion, seeking to unsettle believers and create imbalance in one's heart, theology and doctrine. In contrast, the true voice of prophecy originates from the Holy Spirit alone. Any and all pure heavenly things, as well as the structures of divine communication itself, comprise the means by which God personally leads and guides each of his children. In addition to the false voices of prophecy, there are also carnal voices of prophecy to be wary of. These emerge from human self-inspired reasoning when individuals attempt to figure out the will, intent and purposes of God using their own limited understanding, rather than tuning their spiritual ears to listen for the still small voice of the Holy Spirit or carefully seeking the wisdom of Scripture. Any personal revelation or prophecy that arises from within must be solidly supported by God's word and should align with what the larger community of godly prophets are hearing from the Spirit in a given season. If a purported prophecy, conspiracy theory, or peculiar doctrine emerges from only one or two fringe sources, flows directly out of a spirit of fear or anxiety, or rings of men simply spewing their latest speculative ideas, Wisdom dictates these claims should be greeted with great caution. Dear friend, we must exercise great caution and spiritual discernment. We are certainly not yet in the prophetic biblical tribulation of the last days preceding the second coming. The world has always experienced seasons of increased turmoil, chaos and crisis throughout history, including wars, famines, pestilences and natural disasters. While the current outbreaks of war are seriously impacting the entire world, overwhelming systems and economies in the process, it does not represent the specific end-time events prophesied in Scripture. This is not the apocalypse. Jesus is not returning next week to rapture the church out of here. We must be very careful not to misinterpret world events and read more into the current situation than Scripture warrants. Now is a time to walk circumspectly in wisdom, carefully evaluating and discerning these difficult days in light of God's eternal spiritual kingdom, rather than reacting in fear, presuming we have figured out God's prophetic calendar, 
or embracing conspiracy theories and false prophets claiming special insights or revelations. Admittedly, some of you may feel upset or uncomfortable with me speaking so forthrightly on these matters, while others will welcome the perspective. Regardless of your personal position, I offer these insights in good faith, simply desiring to share my biblical perspective after prayerfully seeking the Lord. I have no desire to control others, but feel accountable before God to speak candidly given my years of experience serving Him. Please take my words to heart and evaluate them. If I happen to have spoken presumptuously or reacted wrongly, I am certain the Lord will correct me. In the months and years ahead, we will be in a better position to look back with hindsight and assess whether the things I've written ring true or not. I have no intention of dismissing certain teachers and ministries carelessly. Rather, my aim is to urge all believers toward deeper spiritual caution, wisdom and discernment during chaotic times such as these, staying grounded in God's eternal word versus reacting to every concerning news report or theory. The Lord Himself gave you a sound mind and reasoning abilities. Walking intimately with the Holy Spirit does not require checking your intellect at the door or ignoring the gift of critical thinking He formed within you. On the contrary, inviting God's presence into every area of your being involves surrendering your reasoning faculties to the Holy Spirit's leading so that your mind, will and emotions align with truth. He will bring order to your thought life and grant you greater clarity and discernment as you yield to Him. Therefore, do not believe every teaching without first praying for wisdom and examining the scriptures. Ground yourself in the firm foundation of God's word, not the shifting sands of public opinion, conspiracy theories or fear-mongering. Listen for the gentle whisper of God's spirit bringing correction, direction and deeper revelation that always aligns with biblical truth. Fix your eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of your faith. Seek discernment from the one who sees and knows all things. Now pray this prayer until the end to receive its blessing. Precious Lord, I humbly ask you to minister to the reader of this message whom you love with an everlasting love. Remind them that your sheep know and hearken to your voice. Grant them a greater spirit of wisdom, revelation and understanding to know you more intimately. Open the eyes of their heart and flood them with light to perceive truth clearly. Establish them firmly on the solid bedrock of your holy word as their foundation. Anchor them in the unshakable knowledge of your goodness and unfailing love. You have not given us a spirit of fear or timidity, but one of power, love and sound judgment. When anxiety or uncertainty set in and whispers lies, silence those deceptive voices so that your still small voice rings out all the louder within. Even when understanding completely fails, may this reader maintain unshakable trust in your loving character, goodness and patience. Search them thoroughly, dear Lord. See into the deepest recesses of their heart and mind. Test their innermost thoughts and discern their secret motives and concerns. Reveal any offensive or unrighteous way in them, then gently lead them on your ancient path of life everlasting. Your word assures that if any lacks godly wisdom, they need only ask of you, the generous Father who gives to all without finding fault. Therefore grant this viewer confidence to come boldly before your throne of grace, to obtain mercy and find grace to help in their every time of need. Incline their ear to your voice and to prudent counsel flowing from your spirit. Grant them clarity of mind and perception to discern truth plainly. Guard their heart diligently, for everything they do flows from it. Correct them if they turn aside to the right or the left. Keep their eyes clear and focused to avoid pitfalls and see the path of life before them clearly. Protect their ears from listening to confusing voices of deception that would distort your words of truth. Open their spiritual ears to hear your gentle whisper, guiding them on the way of righteousness and peace. Even when the way seems cloudy and they cannot discern your mighty hand at work, Help this viewer to trust your fatherly heart of perfect love. 
Instill patience within them to allow your plans and purposes to unfold in your flawless timing. Protect them from running ahead of your spirit or making rash choices and decisions without waiting for your clear direction. Plant deep in their innermost being simple childlike faith that believes your word and promises even when their eyes cannot yet see the manifestation. Fill their heart to overflowing with indestructible hope and unwavering confidence that you who began a good work in them will most certainly complete it. Strengthen them to walk each day in practical wisdom, step by step, keeping in close pace with your spirit who lives within. Illumine your word and impart fresh revelation to them daily to light up their path. Anoint their head with the oil of joy and gladness. Satisfy their soul with the rich banquet of your presence and blessings. Guide their feet to walk in straight paths of righteousness, guarding their way against deception. Firmly establish them on the solid rock of your truth, anchored securely in you. I ask these things in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Saviour. Amen. The blessings from this prayer now envelop you. God desires for you to walk wisely and carefully, not swayed by every new idea that comes along. As it says in Ephesians 4 verse 14, you should no longer be like children, blown this way and that by all kinds of new doctrines and trickery from people who craftily plot to deceive. Ideas conceived merely by human thinking, without inspiration from the Holy Spirit, can lead believers astray. Therefore, you must be rooted in God's Word, which guides you in balancing all matters. Scripture interprets Scripture, so study the entirety of the Bible rather than focusing on only one aspect like end times. If you only immerse yourself in topics about the tribulation, you'll view life through that lens of fear, you need balance by also studying God's truths about salvation, baptism, love, redemption, prayer, and more. This gives you a full perspective to walk circumspectly without getting blown off course. If worry about the future leaves you wondering what's happening and what it all means, talk to God. Ask Him for wisdom daily and pray against deceptive spirits. However, spiritual warfare involves more than just resisting demons. It means actively creating the purposes of heaven through prophecy, decrees, and declaring God's intentions. It's hard to build God's plans while distracted battling demons, so fill your mind with His promises. When first learning about end times, you asked God for wisdom in relating to the world. He said to live every day as if you'll never see Him return in your lifetime, caring for relationships and finances wisely but also live spiritually as if he could come back tonight, staying pure, spreading the gospel, leading people to salvation. This has guided you well through the years, so continue in this way. Victory over darkness is hard fought and hard won, but you are an overcomer, not a failure. God's spirit in you brings triumph, not defeat. Hold fast to every vision and promise he has given you. His prophets largely foretold coming revival, prosperity and growth, so you would be filled with hope and stay true to His plans despite trouble. There are wonderful times ahead as God shows His might and keeps every word. Right now, God warns some of you to walk circumspectly with finances. Listen to the Holy Spirit and be wise. If you've lost income, remember that fear and unbelief only hinder God's provision. Hold fast to your giving and faith in God's system. Recall the prophet Elisha telling the widow to collect jars. Then her small supply of oil supernaturally refilled every vessel. When famine struck, he told another widow to feed him first from her last meal. As she obeyed, her oil and flour continued flowing, never running out. No matter your need, God will provide when you honor him. Through any peril, have faith like Elisha's followers. Troubles will surely come, but stay rooted in God's truths and promises. He can multiply resources, heal bodies, and work all things for good. Maintain integrity and giving by the Holy Spirit's leading. On your life journey, there will be valleys amid the mountains, but keep eyes on the Savior. His grace and goodness never fail. Never forget God's great power and love for you. 
With this confidence, give boldly as he stirs your heart, not under compulsion, but willingly. This act and any gift demonstrates faith that God will reward those who honor him. He promises abundant provision for those who give cheerfully according to their means. Your reward is not merely earthly things, but eternal treasure and relationship with him. Still, he also pledges to meet every physical need of those who seek his righteousness. So do not strive anxiously about material needs. God knows what you require. Consider the lilies and sparrows that he cares for. You are worth more than these. It is not money that sustains, but his word and spirit. Where he guides, he provides. Manner in the wilderness. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow. Sufficient for today are the blessings and trials it contains. Give him today and trust him for tomorrow's grace when it arrives. God is able to make all grace abound to you, so that in all things, at all times, you have all you need to accomplish his purposes and share his love. You can be content in plenty or in want, because your worth surpasses earthly wealth. True abundant life consists of intimacy with him and bearing spiritual fruit. In God's economy, generosity and sacrifice expand the eternal harvest. Bless others without fear of lack, for the Lord repays far beyond earthly cost. Though money itself is not evil, the love of it leads to corruption. Seek first God's kingdom and righteousness, not mammon. Where your treasure is, your heart resides also. Therefore hold earthly goods lightly and give freely, for they are temporary, but rewards in heaven are eternal. Forgive debts, give to those in need, lend without expectation of return. Store up imperishable wealth in eternity by investing in his kingdom. Use finances as a tool, not a source of security apart from him. With an eternal perspective, you can distribute God's provision wisely and tell others of his limitless blessings. His delight is to give you the kingdom, so do not worry, but intentionally seek his righteousness. Living by kingdom priorities allows you to distribute resources generously while walking in freedom, joy, and trust. The Lord keeps those who honor him and abound in faith. His eyes roam over all the earth to strengthen the hearts of the fully committed. You who are upright in heart will be blessed. God makes firm the steps of those who delight in him. May he teach you his ways and guide you in his truth. As you commit your works to the Lord and trust him, he will make your righteousness shine like the dawn and the justice of your cause like the noonday sun. Be still before him and wait patiently. Do not fret over evildoers or be envious of the wicked. Their prosperity is fleeting, but the Lord upholds the righteous. Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to him, trust in him, and he will act. He will make your righteousness shine like the dawn, your justice like the noonday sun. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret over those who prosper in their way, over those who carry out evil schemes. Refrain from anger and turn from wrath. Do not fret, it only leads to evil. For those who are evil will be destroyed, but those who hope in the Lord will inherit the land. A little while and the wicked will be no more. Though you look for them, they will not be found. But the meek will inherit the land and enjoy peace and prosperity. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. The salvation of the righteous comes from the Lord. He is their stronghold in time of trouble. The Lord helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in him. Cast your cares on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous be shaken, but the wicked will perish. Though the Lord's enemies are like the flowers of the field, they will be consumed, they will go up in smoke. For those who hope in the Lord will inherit the land, but the humble will inherit the land and enjoy great peace. The blameless spend their days under the Lord's care, and their inheritance will endure forever. In faithfulness he will bring forth justice. He will not falter or be discouraged till he establishes justice on earth. In his teaching, the islands will put their hope. May you trust in the Lord forever, 
For the Lord, the Lord himself, is the rock eternal. He humbles those who dwell on high. He lays the lofty city low. You who walk uprightly, living righteously and speaking truth from the heart, who does not slander with their tongue, does no evil to their neighbor, casts no slur on others, who despises the vile but honors those who fear the Lord, who keeps an oath even when it hurts and does not change their mind, who lends money to the poor without interest, who does not accept a bribe against the innocent, whoever does these things will never be shaken. As for me, I trust in the Lord. I will be glad and rejoice in your love, for you saw my affliction. You knew the anguish of my soul. You have not given me into the hands of the enemy, but have set my feet in a spacious place. Return to your rest, my soul, for the Lord has been good to you. Who is like the Lord our God, enthroned on high, who stoops down to look on the heavens and the earth? He raises the poor from the dust and lifts the needy from the ash heap. You who fear him, trust in the Lord. He is their help and shield. You who fear him will lack no good thing. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. The lions may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Come, my children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Whoever of you loves life and desires to see many good days, keep your tongue from evil and your lips from telling lies. Turn from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are attentive to their cry. The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. The righteous person may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers him from them all. He protects all his bones. Not one of them will be broken. Even in famine and hardship, the Lord will provide for your needs from his bountiful storehouse. Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously, and he will give you everything you need. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. My God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus, and God is able to bless you abundantly, so that in all things at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. You will be enriched in every way so that you can be generous on every occasion and through your generosity will result in thanksgiving to God. His grace is sufficient for you, for his power is made perfect in weakness. God keeps you in perfect peace when your mind is stayed on him because you trust in him. Though the fig tree does not bud, and there are no grapes on the vines, though the olive crop fails, and the fields produce no food, though there are no sheep in the pen and no cattle in the stalls, yet even then you will praise the Lord with joy, lifting up holy hands in his sanctuary. You will glory in the Lord and exult in the Holy One of Israel. You do not lean on your own understanding, but trust in the Lord with all your heart, do not be wise in your own eyes, but fear the Lord and turn away from evil. Then even in famine and want, your body will be refreshed like a watered garden. The Lord will guide you always and provide for you, even in the wilderness, just as he did for the Israelites with manna from heaven. He will not let the righteous go hungry, but will thwart the craving of the wicked. Commit your way to the Lord and trust in him, and he will act. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. In righteousness you will be established, secure and at peace, free from fear of harm. Though evil people may prosper for a time, their success is fleeting, but the Lord loves justice and will never forsake his faithful ones. The salvation of the righteous comes from the Lord. He is their stronghold in time of trouble. The Lord helps and delivers them, rescuing them because they take refuge in him. He will make your righteous reward shine like the dawn, your vindication like the noonday sun. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret over those who prosper from evil schemes. 
cease from anger and turn from wrath. Do not fret over evildoers, for those who do evil will be destroyed. But those who hope in the Lord will inherit the land. Humble yourself before God, trusting Him, and you will be abundantly satisfied with His goodness. So do not be anxious about tomorrow. His grace is sufficient and He will supply all your needs. You can be content and live generously, for He enriches you in every way. His strength is perfected in weakness. He will uphold you and bring plans to prosper you, giving you hope and a future. So trust in Him always as your refuge, fortress and deliverer. Stay your mind on God and you will have perfect peace. Even when facing want and famine, He will refresh you and guide you like a watered garden. Praise Him with joy, for the Lord your God will provide. If you believe in God, like the video and leave a heartfelt Amen in the comments. Explore our new channel, Prayer Helps, for daily Christian inspiration, prayers and devotions. We aim to uplift and inspire you daily. Visit the link to discover more.